Hello dear students, in today's class let us learn the properties on continuity. First one, constant mapping is continuous. We have to prove constant mapping is continuous. Let us take a constant mapping. So, let us take uh, you know f from x to y be a constant mapping constant mapping or function let's take a constant map or a function what do you mean by constant uh, function that is that is f of x is equal to constant some constant we can take the constant as uh, some a or uh, some y naught we take it as y naught okay and this y naught is fixed right for all x belonging to capital x take any point in x it is always mapped to y naught okay now we have to prove this is continuous so what do we do we'll take an open set we have to prove it is continuous no so we prove inverse of an open set is open okay so let us take an open set let v be an open set where we have to take the open set in y okay now what is f inverse v we have to prove remember f inverse v is open we have to prove it is open right so consider f inverse v this f inverse v this f inverse v We'll have two options. One, if y naught, this form, this constant, no, this constant y naught, if this y naught belongs to V, and second option is if this y naught doesn't belong to V. See what is V? V is any subset in Y. That point Y, Y naught may be there in Y, V, or may not be there in V. So if it belongs to V, then all the points, all the points are mapped to y naught. So it will be x. And if y naught doesn't belong to you know this part, y naught doesn't belong to v, then uh, no points you know map to y naught. So this is null set. In both the cases, we know that null set and uh, the whole set are both are open sets. So x and null set both are open only two chances and f inverse v is therefore f inverse v is open so we proved inverse of an open set is open therefore the function f the constant function f x to y is continuous is continuous so we proved constant mapping is continuous the next property we are going to prove is we are going to prove the identity map is continuous. The identity map is continuous. Let us take the next one. Identity map is continuous. Second property identity function or identity mapping is continuous. Okay, so what is identity mapping? We'll take one topological space to the same topological space X, right? And what is identity mapping? I of X is equal to X. I of X is equal to X for all X belonging to capital X. Now, how do you prove this is continuous? So, let's take any open set. Let V be an open set in the codomain the codomain here is x so in x and and what is i inverse v i inverse v is nothing but v because i of v is v okay so i inverse v is v and v is open in x so therefore i inverse v is open in the domain x 
therefore inverse of an open set is open therefore i the identity map x to x is continuous is continuous so we have proved the second property now we shall go to the third one third one is composition of continuous maps is continuous so prove the third one the third one is this third property composition of composition of continuous maps continuous maps is continuous okay that is that is if f from x to y and g another function from y to z are continuous are continuous then then the composition g not f g not f will be from x to z is also continuous that is the property or that is a theorem proof proof so let us take what we have to prove we have to prove what is given we'll write down given f from x to y and g from y to z these two are continuous and to prove that to prove that g not f from where to where from x to z is continuous so it is continuous g not f so what do we do we we'll, we have to take we we will prove inverse of an open set is open right inverse of an open set is open so let us let me take or we'll write we prove that inverse of an open set is open inverse of an open set is open take any open set where let v be an open set in the codomain in z in the codomain of g not f that is z okay since since our next step so what is g inverse v g inverse v is dash in g inverse will be in y why g inverse v this g inverse v will be open in y because because g is continuous g is continuous so inverse of an open set is open v is open set is z and look at this this is our z right i mean g so any open set inverse of an open set is open v is open in uh, z so g inverse v will be open in y because g is continuous okay now what is f inverse of this f inverse one bracket of this open set is dash in x because f is dash can you fill up these blanks now now what is g inverse v g inverse v is open set in y so what is f inverse of this f inverse of this is also open in x because f is continuous because f is continuous right so this is nothing but this f inverse g inverse v we can write like this so f inverse composition g inverse of v is open in x you can write like that and uh, g not f whole inverse is nothing but what 
that is nothing but this implies this implies this is nothing but g not f whole inverse these two are equal this and this these two are equal right so this is open in x open in x so inverse of an open set is open so therefore therefore g not f is continuous g not f is continuous the composition of any two continuous maps is continuous Now we shall go to the next one that is to prove that the restriction maps are continuous. That is the fourth property. Fourth property is that the restriction map is continuous. Fourth one. Fourth one. The restriction maps. Restriction maps. Are continuous. What do you mean by restriction? Suppose we have the domain is X, you have a subset, right? A. If the function you know is full on the domain X, the restriction will be on the set A. Okay, now that is if F from X to Y is continuous continuous take any subset a of x you can see in the figure a is subset of x then we have to prove that the restriction map f restricted to a so what will be the domain of f restricted to a will be a so y is continuous is continuous okay so we have to prove this is continuous okay right so we shall take a, we'll prove you know inverse of an open set is open so we'll take any open set in the you know codomain that is y so we'll take let v be any open set in y so proof of this let us take any open set let v be an open set in y okay so what is f inverse v f inverse v is open in x y because f from x to y is continuous that's what they have given is continuous that's what they have given right then you have an open set in x that is open set in tau so what is this f inverse v intersection a f inverse v is tau element open set in x so tau element so this is tau element intersection y this is open set in a remember relative topology so tau element intersection y is open in y so in the place of y we have a here right so f inverse v intersection a is open in a because f inverse v is open in x tau element tau element intersection a is open in a so therefore this is nothing but f inverse a whole inverse of v this uh, f inverse intersection a is nothing but f restricted to a whole inverse v is open in a. therefore therefore inverse of an open set is open in a therefore f restricted to a is continuous hence the restricted restriction maps are continuous so we have completed all the four properties of continuity okay so remember what is the first one first one is constant maps are continuous the second one is the identity map is continuous the third one is composition of continuous maps is continuous the fourth one is the restriction maps are continuous okay guys so let us stop now
the next class let us take up uh, homeomorphism